Good morning children. Welcome back to the English class. Today we are going to continue doing stopping by words on a snowy evening. We have already discussed the poem. We have seen the summary and choose the correct answers as well as phrases used by the poet which have an visual which have a visual impact or an auditory impact then we have also seen alliteration in the poem and discuss the last line of the poem which is very important and which gives his philosophy that is robert frost's philosophy in short today we are going to focus on sounds and pronunciation sounds and pronunciation of words are important very very important in english but especially in poems so we have to first see the rhyme scheme for the first three stanzas please open your books on page 63 read the first three stanzas and decide what the rhyme scheme is and for deciding the rhyme scheme you have to see the last words of each line so the first stanza has no do here snow now no do rhyme but then they don't rhyme with here and these two words rhyme with snow so no do and snow rhyme with each other and here is different now what will be the rhyme scheme for the first stanza it is going to be a a b a similarly for the second and the third stanza the last words are queer near lake and year queer near year rhyme and lake is different so it is a a b a again in the third stanza the last words are shake mistake sweep and flake shake mistake and flake rhyme while sweep is different so again in the third stanza the rhyme scheme is a a b a we are not taking the fourth stanza because the lines are repeated and it has the same rhyming words deep keep sleep sleep so we will consider the rhyme scheme for the first three stanzas now there is one very interesting thing about this poem and what is that interesting thing the last word of the third line of the first stanza rhymes with the last words of three lines in the following stanza now let us look at the last word of the third line of the first stanza what is the last word here now let us look at the second stanza three words the three last words of the next stanza rhyme with here here rhymes with queer near and year now the word that is the last word of the third line of the second stanza is lake now lake rhymes with the three words or the last three words of three lines in the following stanza lake rhymes with shake mistake and flake isn't this very interesting and this gives a musical quality to the poem and the rhyme scheme of course you have to remember is a a b a this also 
Now there's very interesting thing. You have to read the following set of words aloud. There are two sets A and B. We are trying to see the sounds and see which words have blends and which have digraphs. But first let us read loudly the following sets of words. Set A. Woods. House. Lake. Dark. Keep. Woods. House. Lake. Dark. Keep. Then set B you have frozen. Stop. Snow. Queer. Sleep. Now you see the words in set A begin with a single consonant sound. That means woods begins with W sound, house, her sound, lake, le sound, dark, the, and keep, k. All have single consonant sound. But in group B, that is set B, the words have two consonant sounds at the beginning. Fr, stir, snur, queer for queer and slur. Now these sounds are two consonant sounds and these two consonant sounds are at the beginning. So let us see what it means. When two or three consonants come together in a word, they form a blend or consonant cluster. When there are two or three consonant sounds together in a word and together they give a sound, they form a blend or another name for blend is consonant cluster. For example, we have the word practice, pr is there. In scream, skr is there, three consonant sounds. Craft, you have kr. And stree, you have str. So some have two consonants together and two words have three consonants together, skr and str. Now these form a blend or the second name or another name is consonant cluster. But the, the commonly used word for these type of words is blends. Now in some words, two letters come together to make one consonant sound. In skr and str, you could hear the different sounds. But in some words, there will be two letters. And these come together, but they make one consonant sound. Such pairs of letters making one consonant sound are called digraphs. When there are two letters... And they come together to make one consonant sound. These are called digraphs. Now let us take some examples. And you also think of more examples in your mind. Ship, SH together give one sound, SH. Change, CH together has the CH sound. White, WH has one sound. Graph has PH, which is first sound together, and Sing has NG together, giving you one sound. So, if you have words, and in these words you have two letters coming together to make one consonant sound, these are called digraphs. Now I wa want you to pay attention to the fact that there may be words where you may have blends as well as digraphs. So you have to be sure whether the letters which have come together make one consonant sound or they make more than one.
so that will help you to decide whether it is a blend or it is a digraph now blends and digraphs are easy but then you have to pay attention to the sounds in the words say it in your mind or say it loudly and then decide please turn to page 66 we have exercise c2 and you have to read the words given in the box and look for blends and digraphs as i told you there are words which may have more than one that means they may have one blend and one digraph or they may have two of any kind so you have to be sure whether that word has just one or both and then you have to write the words in the correct box now the words i'm reading from the box show throw scratch you also please read it loudly with me and try to hear the sound in your mind i'll start again show throw scratch cry steam them shield fried slide snow watch teach thatch flow dream ghost thing now after you have read these words loudly you know what the sounds are now you have to decide whether the words contain blends or the word contains digraphs or in some cases it may contain both now i am quickly reminding you again when two or three consonants come together in a word they form a blend however in some two letters come together to make one consonant sound as in the words i did just now like ship change etc such pairs of letters making one sound are called digraphs like sh sh ch ch but if you have sl then you can hear both the sounds then what is it is it blend or digraph then it is a blend but if it makes one consonant sound then it is a digraph now you have two boxes as i told you earlier one box can you have to write words containing blends and in the other box you have to write words containing digraphs you can write these words in the boxes later just now what i want you to do is while i'm reading it please take a pencil in hand and then and when i read a word please write blend or digraph <coughs> and underline the letters if you think the word has both blend and digraph then you underline the word or the letters which you think form blend and the letters which you think form digraphs now let us start are you ready show please see underline those two or three letters and write b or d and if there are more then you can underline write b and then later if there is a digraph write d show the second one throw third one scratch fourth cry fifth steam sixth them 
seventh shield, eighth fright, ninth slide. Now I'll give you just one more minute to just decide and write which letters in the word give one consonant sound or give two sounds and if it is two I have to write blend and if it is one I write digraph you can just write B or D done now we go to the second line snow watch teach now let me clarify one thing here I have these in two different columns in your books there are two rows so this should not confuse you it is either a column or a row you have to decide in which box it has to go so it should not confuse you now we'll start the second group of words snow watch teach touch flow dream ghost thing now please decide one minute again for putting it in the right box and please use a pencil don't use a pen and you have to write a word in both the columns if it has both blend and digraph and if it has just blend please write it in the first box and if it has only digraph write it in the second box but some words will have to be repeated so just decide carefully what you have to do and one minute more for writing in the correct box. Done. Everyone should have these words at least in one box and a few words in both the boxes. Now let us see. Show. Is show a digraph or a blend? SH together gives one sound. So it is a, what is a word with one consonant sound? Digraph. So show should come in the box where you have digraphs. That is second box. Throw, thr, it has two consonant sounds. So it should come in the first box where you have to write blends. Now the third word, scratch. Scratch, you can see. Scr is there and the last one, ch, is also there. Now scr has two sounds or three. First decide that and you will have to write it in the box containing blends. But then the last CH together has one consonant sound CH. So where will you write? Scratch has to be written in both blends and digraphs but the letters will differ. In one you have to underline SCR and in the other it is CH that is CH. Now the next word is CRY or CR. Where will it come? In blends. It's just in blends. Now steam has the stir. Stir, you can hear sir and ter both. Of course, very short sounds. So two sounds, it is in blend. Them, where will you put them? TH together has one sound. So what it is going to be? It is a digraph. Now shield. Pay attention to shield. It has SH, SH, two letters with one sound. 
and where do we put words which have one consonant sound in digraph very good and ld it is also a blend so shield again like scratch will come in both the columns that is both the boxes sorry it will come in words containing blends as well as words containing digraphs now the next one fried fr it will come in blends and those who thought it is going to be a blend very good because fr you have two consonant sounds slide again has two sounds so it is going to come in the box where you have blends that is the first box now snow can you think sn s n can you hear two sounds two consonant sounds or just one yes you can hear two so where will it come in blends now watch watch has ch 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 the letters give you one or two sound one sound so where should i write it in digraphs teach again as ch giving us one sound so where should i write teach again it has one sound so digraphs thatch again is digraph because th also has one sound and ch also has one sound ghost ghost has gh g and st the last letters so gh together has one sound where should i write it digraph very good and st ghost st or st has two consonant sound so it has to come in blends as well so ghost again will be repeated in both the boxes now the next word after ghost is sorry where did i reach slide we have done i guess i'll repeat some words in case you don't have i had told you fried fried is in blends then slide again is in blends snow again blends did we do watch i may have left it so where will watch come one sound so it is in digraphs teach again as one sound so in digraphs now thatch again in digraphs flow has the fl sound can you hear two consonant sounds so where should i write flow in blends now the next one dream dr dr you can hear two sounds so where should i write in blends then i had reached ghost i remembered that i have told you that ghost has two gh and st one has just one sound the other one has st that is two sounds so i'll have to write ghost in both the columns now the last word is thing now where should i write thing yes i'm going to write thing in which column should i write thing th together has one sound so i'll write it in digraphs can i write it in blends no thing th as just one sound so i'm going to write it in digraphs now if you have done this with me marked it just blends and digraph or both in certain words later on you are going to write all these words in the proper boxes and when you write in the box please underline the letters which give one sound if it is a blend if it is a digraph 
sorry if it gives two sounds or more it is a blend and if it gives one sound it is a digraph underline those letters and if some word is repeated you are just going to underline the letters which make up the blend or which make up the digraph if you write in that box now today's homework i am going to give later on in the erp app but let us just see the answers what i have done is i have written the words with blends here and you are supposed to write it in the first box in this box you should have throw scratch cry steam fried slide snow flow dream shield and ghost now let us see words which should be in the second box that is words with digraphs show throw them shield watch teach thatch ghost thing scratch and as i told you earlier there are some words which are repeated in both the boxes that is in the box where you have to write blends and where you have to write digraphs thank you children thank you so much now we are going to continue and complete this poem tomorrow we are going to do the last exercise that is on sound words what i want you to do is please find out from the net or from some book you have what is another name for sound words i'll give you a big hint or a clue it starts with the letter o the words which are sound words start with the word letter o the name for these words so please find out and tomorrow in the live class we are going to ask you thank you children stay at home stay safe thank you till we meet again for another interesting video thank you